Friday. Hope you are well. Let us stop the music. Although I want to keep dancing. It is what was supposed to be Trinidad Carnival Friday after all today. Anyway, come in, come in, come in. Happy Friday. If you are interested in tips on how to plan the ultimate girls getaway, then stay tuned. I am Isha Herbert Davis, your Carnivalista in Chief of Events by Ashe, where we plan unique and life changing Caribbean experiences. And say hello in the comments. Tell me hi, what's up? How's your Friday going? If this is your first time alignment with us on YouTube, because I am live right now on Facebook and on YouTube, then please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome, welcome. We do, I do videos about travel, food, getting your life together, and the Trinidad Carnival culture almost every week. <laughs> but if you want more of that, then definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, if you're catching the replay, hashtag replay in the comments. All right, so I'm really excited to get into part two of how to plan the ultimate girls getaway. And as I mentioned in the part one video, I was inspired by YouTuber Rachel Talbot. Again, Rachel, if I mispronounce your name, I apologize. Uh, she did a girls, girls Getaway Weekend video. And her videos focus more on packing, on prep tips, and you know the actual getaway. And it was really wonderful. But it also inspired me to do a video that addressed the planning part. <laughs> Because in order to get to the fun stuff and the packing, you got to plan the trip. So that is definitely what I am giving you tips about today. So you can get to your girls getaway with less stress and less drama, which we all need less of these days, right? All right. So before I get into uh, what I'm going to share with you today, I'm going to share a show and tell. So I am wearing a completely me made outfit today. I made this t-shirt. I made this um, kimono like robe kind of top. I'm not sure what you call it exactly. The name el eludes me. I know it's not a real Japanese kimono, of course, um, trying to be sensitive to cultural appropriation, but it is a kimono style top, as you can see, and my crop t-shirt. And you can't see the pants, and I forgot to take a picture, of course, but the pants are me made as well. So I am completely, the fabric of everything is fully international earlier today, okay? Full disclosure. So fabric from France, fabric from Ghana for my wonderful friend, brother OG in Ghana, fabric from the US, this is US fabric from Joanne, and my pants, which you can't see, are from Toronto. It's actually some uh, linen blend fabric that I bought quite a while ago. And I've used all of it now. I made a whole top and pants, like a two-piece ensemble out of this. But yes, I am fully garbed internationally today and loving it. <laughs> so leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my little outfit. But anyway, let's get back to planning the ultimate girls getaway. So in total of the two-part blog series and you know videos, I have six tips for you, okay? In part one of the blog, I gave you tips one, two, and three. And in this video, I will focus on tip number four, which is another simple one, but people often overlook it. And the accompanying blog will have tips five and tips number six, all right? So let us get into it. And definitely leave me a comment and let me know if you're planning a girl's getaway right now, if this is something that is important and you think you need, then leave me a comment. Yes. All right. So here's today's tip, which is tip number four of the entire six tip series. Decide on a budget. You, okay. And now, first of all, I'm going to say a lot of people are watching this like, Isha, really, this is a tip that you have. However, so many people overlook this step. It just causes so much more problems and you really need to get to a girl's getaway, all right? And I've been a travel curator and event planner for over 20 years. And I cannot tell you how many clients or potential clients I've gotten on the phone with and said, okay, do you have a budget in mind? No, I don't have a budget in mind. 
And then, you know, we go do the search and you find out they actually do have a budget in mind. So everybody has a number, right? Everybody has a number. Keep that in mind. So even if you're planning with the girls and all of them are like, yeah, yeah, whatever you plan is okay. Don't accept that. <laughs> Make everybody come to a number. And I'll definitely tell you why, because this one deciding on a budget can make even the best friends complete enemies. All right. So let us get into it. So it's important to agree and stick to a budget for your girls getaway. When every un everyone understands and agrees to the financial commitment, then most likely your trip will go smoothly. So why is that? The thing is, if you have a number and you have a couple in the group and you know who you are, <laughs> who are hesitant about the number and go along with it anyway, you know, and you could always tell who those people are, you know, they're very quiet when um, the talks about finances or budget come up, very quiet, don't say much and say, yeah, yeah I guess that's okay. You know, if you don't want to call them out on the group chat or the group call or whatever you're doing with your friends, why not give them a call or send them a message later to say, hey, notice you were really quiet in this chat about budget or, you know, how are you feeling? Would you be more comfortable with this number? You know, have a one to one off sidebar with them because they may not be wanting to bring it up in the larger group. You know, nobody wants to be um, bring attention to themselves if they can't afford it or if they're thinking it's a bit of a stretch for them, or maybe they have something important that's coming up, maybe some uh, family obligations. So it's important to really get that buy-in, that initial buy-in from a budget perspective from everyone in the group. So as I said, if you notice there's one or two people who are very, very quiet, <laughs> who are not saying anything, reach out to them, make sure that they're okay with it, all right? And here's the reason why. Why do you need to make sure? So if you have those who are hesitant and they go along anyway, and they're like, oh, I'll just go and do whatever the group does, that's a red flag. But if that does happen, resentment will definitely come in at some part in the planning process, right? And sometimes the resentment is held inside this person until you get to the trip. And they're really feeling the financial pressures because they spent all of this money that was outside of their comfort zone or outside of what they could comfortably afford. And they're, fe they're not feeling relaxed on the girls getaway. They're not feeling the girls getaway vibe. They are stressed, okay? And that is just a recipe for a disaster, okay? It can cause um, people, their feelings to get hurt. It can cause a lot of friction during the trip. And you definitely don't want that because a girl's getaway is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be easy going and it's supposed to take your stress away. Am I right or am I right? So definitely decide on a budget before you start to plan anything. And there's another tip in the blog that will accompany this series that talks about what's the other thing that you need to do before you start to plan anything that's really, really helpful as you plan your ultimate girls getaway. So make sure that you check that out. I will put the link in there shortly. So definitely type agree in the comments. If you, this, you know, this resonates with you. You're like, yes, I understand that. That makes sense to me. Hey, miss, Zulu ball woman. <laughs> hey, Teresa. <laughs> yes, I'm calling you out because <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm so jealous and I'm so excited that you're going to the Zulu ball later. Nola is back in swing, but thank you for joining. Thank you for watching as always, my dear. So yeah, that's why this budget tip is so important. All right. And I hope that really resonated with you. I hope you will also check out the full blog, which will be up by probably in another hour or so. It will be up with the full video and this tip fleshed out a lot more in full because I didn't want this to be a half an hour long video and two more additional tips for you. So planning the ultimate girls getaway, that's what I've been talking about today. And we have an ultimate girls getaway just for you in November. And I am so excited about this one because I am co-hosting it with my good, good girlfriend, Sabria Dobbins. And we created it. We are both black women and it was created for black women. There are a lot of other retreats, 
you know, love gurus out there who are not us. Okay, frankly, I'm just going to say they're not us. They don't understand what struggles we go through, what challenges, very unique challenges we have to go through when it comes to finding love or preparing for love. And I have my own, you know, personal journey that I have been on um, since in my early 20s. And there were a number of barriers that I had to overcome and my friend Sabria had to overcome that are unique to us as Black women. So this was created by Black women for Black women. And it is the retreat for the Black professional woman that you are to prepare you for love and better yet for the love that you deserve. I'm talking about that soul stirring, you know, earth shaking love, you know, the big love, as my sister Sarah calls it. Um, the wellness experience known as Ultimate Girls Getaway will be a journey of self exploration, of self love, of finding your voice, finding your peace, and so much more. And we're going to do all of this in the fabulous Turks and Caicos. The property that we have chosen is the Sands of Grace Bay, and it is a fabulous property. We are going to have so much fun. You are going to be pampered in luxury. You're going to have your own room. You don't need to shack up with anybody. And we did that on purpose, right? Because the um, what we're going to be going into during the retreat is going to be really deep work. Honestly, it's going to be a fabulous girls getaway. So we're going to play hard and we're going to work hard, which is definitely my belief. We are going to work so hard on your beliefs, we're going to examine your past programming. We're going to examine so much stuff, guys. So you're going to need that room to yourself at the end of each day, honestly, to really decompress, reabsorb, and think through everything and rest <laughs> as well. Definitely rest as we go through all of this deep work every single day. And uh, as I mentioned in the last video, part one of this uh, series, that we are giving to the first six women who register for this retreat. We are giving them now seven bonuses because I announced one more bonus this week that is going to make your travel life and your travel vision so much easier. So those bonuses are only for the first six women who sign up. And seriously, this is a girl's getaway with a purpose for you. If you want to increase your chances of meeting, attracting, and keeping a great guy, even if you feel disappointed or hopeless about it right now, and even if there is no man in your life right now, trust me, going to this retreat, going to the pre-retreat sessions, because we are starting the pre-retreat sessions in July this year, so it's you don't have to wait until November to start working on this stuff. We're going to have the pre-retreat sessions with myself and Sabria, and we're going to start working on your love life, preparing you for the love that you deserve. So anyway, I definitely want you to come to Ultimate Girls getaway it is going to be amazing we are going to have a great time in the caribbean preparing you for the love that you deserve hey mom <laughs> thank you for catching me today i hope all is well in san francisco um gosh love me some mary ellen davis she's just Awesome. That's my mother-in-law, y'all. All right. So that is everything I needed to share today, Ole. I really think I went over time. This was supposed to be a short video, but, you know, Ole, you know, I start get talking and time just goes. So anyway, thank you for watching. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And that's it for me today. I am going to play the music. Here we go. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday and enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. And as always, 